This is the quickest way to make a platformer in Game Maker. I'll start by making a new project. So just select the blank template, give it a nice name and hit let's go. We're gonna need some sprites. So I'll drag this package file into Game Maker. You can get this from the description. Click on yes, then add all and finally import. This will give you some sprites here and there are two that we're going to use. One for the player and one for the ground that the player will stand on. I am actually going to rotate this ground tile in my game to form slopes. So if you want to do that too, make sure you set its collision type to rectangle with rotation. And with that said, let's go and make the objects. I'll make two of them here. The first one will be obj underscore player and the second one will be obj underscore ground. I'll give obj player the player sprite and then the ground object the ground sprite. So that's all the objects we need. Now let's go into the room over here and make a quick level. I'm gonna select the background layer first and change its color to blue. Then select the instances layer again and start placing obj ground into the room. So I'll add a few here and I'll also add one, stretch it and rotate it to make a slope. Then I'll duplicate this to make another slope and then you can go and add more platforms if you want. And also make sure you add the player as well. Don't forget about them like I did. Now we're gonna program the movements of the player. So let's open obj player. Here I'm gonna add the create event which runs when the instance is created. So here we can define the properties and variables of the player. If it asks you to choose between GML code and visual, just go with whatever you want to use. This video is going to show you both ways. Do make sure that you enable don't ask me again for this project before you hit OK. Inside the events, I'm gonna make a few variables. First, we have move underscore speed. That's how fast the player is gonna walk. Then we have jump speed, which is the force that's applied when the player wants to jump. And then there's move X and move Y, which tell us how much the player needs to move in any given frame. Now in any given frame, we want to take input from the keyboard and move the player accordingly. So we can do that in the step event. This event runs every frame. So you can read inputs, move the player and program any other behaviors that you want. I'm gonna make this event full screen so we can see everything more easily. Now in the event, we're gonna take input on the X axis by first of all taking input for the right key, then taking input for the left key and subtracting the left value from the right value. So this way we get one if you press right and minus one if you press left and of course zero if you press nothing and that value is saved in the move x variable. Then I'm gonna set the same variable again, but this time I'll multiply it with the move speed value. So if our move speed is four, then instead of one or minus one, we're gonna get four or minus four. So that's how far the player ends up walking. Now, if the player is falling, we want it to stop if it touches ground. So we're gonna use this condition to check if there's ground two pixels below the player, Two pixels is a safer range to check than just one pixel below. So if a collision is found there, we set move Y to zero so it stops moving vertically. Then if you are on the ground and you press space, you should be able to jump. So within the same condition, we're gonna add another condition to check if the space key was pressed. And in that case, we're gonna set move Y to negative jump speed so it moves up with the jump speed amount. Now at the end here, I'm gonna add an else. This is after the condition that checks if we are on the ground. So the else is gonna run if we are not on the ground, meaning we are in mid air. And in that case, we want to apply gravity to the player. Now even the gravity should have a limit. So if the player's Y speed is below 10, we increase it so it gets to 10, which is the maximum gravity that we're gonna allow. Now all of this comes together with the move and collide function. This function moves your instance while avoiding certain objects. So this one is gonna move us by the move X and move Y amount that we set. And it's gonna avoid the obj ground object. Finally, to get the player turning left or right, we want a condition to make sure that it is moving. So we're gonna check if move X is not zero. And then we're gonna set the image X scale to the sign of move X, which gets us either one or minus one. So if we apply that to image X scale, the sprite will flip. Now run the game and your basic platformer is ready. You can walk, jump, fall, and even walk up slopes. 
There's a written version of this tutorial that covers more features like properly walking down slopes and fixing a common issue with this function. So make sure you check that out from the description. We also have more videos just like this for you with more Game Maker tips and tricks. So check them out and I'll see you there.